guys, Kelly Link here, host and interviewer for video game events and tournaments around the world. And in this series, we're going to be exploring esports. If I had, you know, a dollar for every time I was at an airport. So what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to a tournament. Oh, what kind of a tournament? I'm like, it's a video game tournament. You make money playing video games? Players who participate in esports are getting paid like professional athletes. They train like professional athletes. It's a different style of competing. Kids can grow up knowing that they can make money playing these video games. In a growing scene, there are growing opportunities, and the esports industry is expected to reach a billion dollars in the year 2020. But it's not just the pros who will reap the benefits. We got to talk to business owners, organizers of teams, and entertainers, and we saw why there are a million reasons to play. Hi, my name is Doug Sensor Martin. I'm a competitive Call of Duty player and a FaZe Clan content creator. Sensor has been in the competitive esports scene since 2011 and has won over a quarter of a million dollars playing Call of Duty. He's also a member of FaZe Clan, which is one of the most popular esports organizations in the world. So Call of Duty, that was the game that you became professional in. When did you go from it being kind of a passion to your profession? When we were growing up as kids, this wasn't a career path. I even won the national championship, which was the most money you can make in a tournament at the time. And I didn't even think it was gonna be a career. I stopped playing and I went to college. But clearly, you're back at it again. What happened? I saw Call of Duty announcing million dollar tournaments and, and I was like, wow. I told my mom, I was like, listen, I'm gonna stop going to college for this next year. I'm gonna focus all on video games. I'm gonna try to make this a career. I just felt like I could win and I felt like I had a good message that I could share to people. You've been playing since 09 and 10. How are they, like, what, how do you see it changing? How do you see, like, A lot better. It's yeah. a lot better now. I mean, first of all, even four years ago, when I was winning championships, I wasn't making a salary. Now right. these guys are making $100,000 a year in salary. There's so much more money to be made in these tournaments. There's so many more people watching it. There's actual career paths that can be taken in streaming, uh, YouTube gaming. I make YouTube videos, I live stream. I went from competitive player to a YouTuber, back to a competitive player, back to a YouTuber. I was in Sharknado. I don't even know what the hell I am anymore, man. You were in Sharknado? I was the helicopter pilot in Sharknado. <laughs> Stop it. That's me! That's me right there! That's my face! So you've been in this industry already for a decade. What about the next decade? If yeah. something's not broken, why would I want to fix it? I love Fair my enough. life. I, I have my two beautiful dogs. Family lives right next to me. I live in the area that I love. I've traveled in so many places because of this, this job. Competitive gaming is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, a lot of preparation, a lot of sacrifice, and it's one of the best feelings when you can win. The big business of video games. 14-year-old Griffin Spakovsky, known by his gaming moniker Skeptic, earned $200,000 playing the video game Fortnite. Skeptic is a 14-year-old Fortnite player who is already making huge waves in the esports community. I qualified for the World Cup, so I get to go to New York City and compete there for uh, $30 million. Dude! Oh my gosh, I think I just broke my desk, dude. Oh, oh my message gosh, you. Sundown messaged me and said I just, we just qualified. Do you know what the prize pool is for the World Cup? It's $15 million for duos, $15 million for solos. 30 million. I know that they said that they were going to invest $100 million into their first year of esports, but it's just crazy to think $30 million in one tournament where Dota is at $25 million. And yeah. Dota's been around for a decade. Oh, yeah. Here comes Fortnite saying, nope, $100 million. That's what we're going to invest into it. How do you think that's impacting the game? A lot more people are playing, I think, because they want to win this money. I think the competitive players get more excited and a lot more like competitive grind is into it. Do you have any concerns going into the World Cup? Kind of nervous because like there's a lot of other top tier players. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be a challenge. Over the last course of a year, I've made upwards of around $300,000 over playing Fortnite. Not only do I make money from competing, I also make money through streaming on Twitch, Caffeine, and making YouTube videos daily. Hey guys, it's Jeff. There are a million reasons to go pro or go into a career in esports, but of course, number one is uh, money. There's so much advertising, dollars being funneled into esports, that 13 to 21 age group, that is the impressionable generation. Brands are throwing their money there. Kids can grow up knowing that they can make money playing these video games. That is how the pros are getting paid. Of course, streaming is an incredible option. They can just start on their own with platforms like Twitch, and it's not easy, but there is that ability to believe that without being a pro, you can make a living. Players Lounge is a platform that lets gamers from all around the world challenge each other for cash prizes. So you don't need to be a pro to make money from all of your favorite games. The idea behind the platform is that we can offer esports competitions to anyone in the world from the comfort of their own home. Even if you're playing a $10 Madden game or a $50 or $100 Madden game, 
the money's important, but what's really there is like the rush, how alive it feels to play and be in last zone with like a dollar on the line. But I would say the average uh, gamer on Players Lounge is uh, paying like a $10 entry fee and winning like around $20 at a time. So here we have the matchmaking area. You can either play in a $1 room, $5 room, or a free room. And one of the things here, we have a, a chat for people to communicate together. Correct, so this is where people can find opponents to play custom games against. And in a custom game, you can send a challenge to somebody for anywhere between $5 or $500. I think what the Players Lounge is doing for the community is really cool. There's a lot of players out there that can't travel to these, uh, not even international events, but to just local tournaments because they have full-time jobs or maybe they have families to take care of. So the fact that there's this place online where they can hone their skills, have a community to play with, and also earn some money is really cool. Next time on Exploring Esports, we'll discuss the age-old question, is esports a real sport?